questions. Let's go ahead and call the meeting to order. This is the Finance Committee meeting at 5.02 p.m. on April 5th. Um, I'm gonna start with minutes. Make a motion we approve it as printed. Wait a second. Second. All right, any discussion? All those, all those in favor? Aye. 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 That's six zero zero unanimous. Um, oh, I skipped updates for other meetings. So updates from other meetings. There is a Western Massachusetts Municipal Conference on April 9th, which I think is this Saturday. Yes. Um, some of the topics are who is that for? Um, Gives you that's only select one. So no. it's usually select four. And anyone's yeah. willing to go at, welcome to come. You got to register, I think, by tomorrow. By the sixth. Yep. Yeah. So you have to register um, by tomorrow. The topics, the the workshops are police reform, ARPA funding, um, post COVID population shifts, and housing affordability, and state of public infrastructure in Western Massachusetts. Um, by the sixth, by the sixth. Yeah. so by tomorrow, so it's not too late. <laughs> um, so pass that around. There is an Association of Town Finance Committees meeting, Spring Conference, April thirtieth. That will be in Oxford. I don't even know where that is. South of Worcester. Almost South of Worcester. Too. Yeah. Toward, um, towards around Worcester. Yeah. So this has the topics of discussion are ARPA funds and building and implementing a capital plan. Um, I don't see a deadline for registration, but it is the meeting itself is April 30th. So I'll pass that one around in case anybody's interested. Um, and then I just started writing down there's a ton of meetings coming up. So tomorrow is Select Board and Community Preservation Committee. Thursday is CIPC and Select Board. Um, is there going to be like a revisiting of capital at that meeting, or do you know? Uh, I, I don't. I could look it up and That's let okay. you know. That's okay. Um, next Monday, there's a personnel board meeting with a hearing. That must be for the new positions. So, okay. I have to refresh my memory what the okay. meeting is about. Um, next Tuesday is Finance Committee. And then next Wednesday, the 13th, is the public hearing on the warrant. No, has that been shifted? I don't know, but I uh, recommended that we move it to the 20th because there's no way okay. I'll be ready. Okay. So stay tuned on that one. I did notice it wasn't posted. <laughs> it was. It's not posted. It's not no. posted. Good. So. Okay. Um, there is. Okay. Yes, that's posted. Um, and then I posted. This isn't a meeting thing, but I posted a notice of the financial indicators on the Facebook thingy. The Deerfield now. That's um, great. Thank you. And got that. And then I, I might soliciting input on this thought. I'm, so this, it was just like a very brief, we did financial indicators and sort of the, the first paragraph of the executive summary saying on the whole, we're pretty good, but the um, tax bills are going up and the, um, you know, the debt limit problem, right? Um, and I pretty much just said that. I could now go and like post individual indicators with little descriptions of them, a few of them. Um, I wouldn't do it unless somebody asked for it. All you're doing is you're asking for more work. If you want to do it, be my guest. <laughs> I, I don't think you need to. I want people to understand what the um, town finances are. Fortunately, want... most people do not listen. Even when you get to town meeting, they still vote. And a lot of times they vote against what we recommend. Huh? <laughs> 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 OK. 
Okay, go for it. Like we're not showing up and sitting here and like making bad decisions for the town or having to do what we want. Yeah. It's a nice place to do it. And watching out for the financial insulate for one plus water. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody if I choose to have energy for this. Are there any, does anybody think any of them are more important than others to share? Pretty good. Maybe they're not so adverse that are bad. Any of the details of those? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Don't say it's good, Ben. Turn on some. Just do them now. Yeah. 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 Or do one that you feel comfortable like with and see what happens. See if you get any. See if everyone yeah. explodes. <laughs> Didn't get much of explosion the first time around, which is good. So, okay. Um, anything else we need to talk about about like admin -y updates from other meetings? Things? As opposed to okay. what's on the agenda? Yeah. Okay. No, that's on the agenda. Updates from other meetings. No, I meant. What? Are you asking for other items that are not showing up on the agenda for discussion? No. no. Do you have something you want to add to the agenda for next week? Are you thinking about that? <laughs> um, kept looking. Personally, I think you're doing a great job. Yes. <laughs> Depending on what you've got intended for the capital list, um, wastewater treatment plants and uh, something I think that needs to be discussed. Okay. Um, that probably could fall under the capital list. All right, let's look at um, oh, public comment. Um, we only have one public. Fran, do you have anything to say? We scared Emily off. She's gone. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so let's go. Let's go to budget line item review. Um, I put some down here, but you have a couple that you handed out. Brenda, should we start with those? Sure. Um. Jim had made some suggestions on possible cuts and um, I took a look at, at his suggestions and came up with a couple of them that, that I thought were doable. And the first one is the Zoning Board of Appeals. That is 176-5400. Um, Adam had, had requested 2000 for this year because there are years that we spend over a thousand dollars and yes there are years that we spend over a thousand but there's also years that we spend under a thousand um for instance this year we've spent a dollar so far <laughs> so i thought it was safe to to um go with jim's recommendation and bring this down to level funding for for uh fy23 do we have a motion? Make a motion to approve the revised budget for Zoning Board of Appeals account 176 5400. Second for a thousand dollars. Any discussion? Any of these particularly small budgets? Uh, we do have reserve funds. Exactly. All right. Any other discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's unanimous. I can't count to seven. Seven. <laughs> I can't believe people are right. So seven. the only question I have is on the uh, requested 
the balance. It says a thousand dollars. Is that? That's Maybe correct. It's changed to a thousand. So we're going to reduce our recommendation to get it back. Right. And you should have a new sheet. You picked one up, right? Or, yes. Okay. Um, so the next one is general highway expense. Uh, the line item in question here was building maintenance. Oh, four two two dash fifty four hundred. Sure. Helps me find it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll make the motion. I, I move that we um, um, recommend the sum of three hundred four thousand five hundred fifty for general highway expense, incorporating the reduction that Brenda is about to tell us about. So building maintenance, we spent almost $15,000 on building maintenance last year. The year before, we spent less than $2,000. Um, part of the reason for the initial $12,000 request was thinking, well, as the building ages, there are going to be more and more things that come up that we're going to need to spend money on. Um, but when I looked at last year and what made up that $15,000, some of it was key fobs for the doors, which... I see is kind of a sunk cost. That isn't going to happen again. Um, there was a problem with one of the overhead doors. I think we spent $5,000 fixing one of the overhead doors. Um, I, I don't know what caused that, but I have my suspicions. But anyway, so um, Jim had suggested that we bring this back down to 10,000. I thought based on what I was looking at that maybe that was reasonable even considering that the town needs to take care of things as they happen instead of waiting to do necessary repairs and upkeep, I still think maybe the 10,000 should be enough. So when I had changed the budget, that's a $2,000 difference. Make a motion we approve no, that. We have, we have a motion. Yeah, any discussion? Well, I, I also want to point out that we are doing the capital expenditure for HVAC software and whatnot. So, you know, money is being spent on that building. True, good point. Yeah. And this is building maintenance specifically for that building. For the highway garage, garage. yes. Yeah. As a being on the building, whatever. Town Building Advisory Committee, there's been a lot of discussion on that committee about things not being maintained and that we put more into maintenance than the, the facilities would last better. But um, this actually seems reasonable, especially since a couple of lines, the, the, what's the 26,000, like three lines up projects maintenance? Um, we had put the uh, lawnmower into that. Oh, the lawnmower, right, right, right. okay. Yeah. Anybody else have comments? You seem you came up with the number anyway, right? The first, the twelve thousand. Yes. Yes. So these these that have was all gone through the, in this case, the highway superintendent is or assistant superintendent has looked at all this. He has. He hasn't seen this latest reduction of two thousand dollars. He's out of town, but um, I'm sure he'll be fine with that. Discussion. Are we going to discuss the other two, tree work and uh, design? Brenda persuaded me that not to make those the motions. So, right. again, this is where we're from. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right. That's, that's right. not. That's that's a draft. Yeah. So, <laughs> so with tree work, um, the town is sorely behind mm -hmm. on doing the tree work that needs to be done for this town. And so the request was actually to have a higher dollar amount in here, but I convinced Chris and um, Casey and I were talking about it. We, we talked it over and kind of felt like maybe adding 3000 to it wouldn't do a lot, but it would probably help. I just didn't want to overwork the budget. Um, and then what was the other, what was the other item? Signs. Oh, the signs. Yes. The reason for the sign increase was the uh, flashing signs that they needed uh, where the schools are on North mm -hmm. Main Street. Yeah. 
Any other discussion? I would actually kind of like to see it stay at 12. It's okay. All right, so as I am, okay. <laughs> um, so it's been moved and seconded for 40, 422 5400 at $304,550. $304, Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, 610, that passes. Next, sorry. Did you have something? Um, oh, okay. I didn't see it. All right, that's awesome. Okay. Maturing debt, uh, actually interest on maturing debt. It's 751-5900. Some, somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve interest on maturing debt. Count 751-5900 for $196,545. Do have a second? Second. Okay. So this is, uh, the first three numbers are set. The garage bond, this is the amount that's due in fiscal year 23. Uh, the roof uh, borrowing and the um, Oxford land repurchase, those loans were just renewed um, this week. And uh, so those amounts are set. The one that was really kind of in question was the wastewater treatment plant. Mm -hmm. and um, tried to get a, a, a more updated cash flow for um, that project to include not just what we've been authorized to spend through USDA, but the total $19 million that we're authorized to spend. Will we actually be spending most of that before the end of fiscal year 23? Did, did David get back to He you? hasn't yet. Okay. I don't... Yes. So, so I don't think they really know. I think they're waiting for some direction from the town on, on, on that. Yep. But if in fact, all we had was the USDA loan, the, the loan that we would be taking out on June 8th is going to be a 15,761,000. Um, I, I contacted our financial advisor and said, okay, what if we were to borrow 17 million um, what would our interest rate be at this point in time? And she gave me um, an interest rate of, she said a net, maybe right now at this point in time, a net of 2%. Two, 2 so she said, maybe for the budget, put in a net of 2.25%. Whether we borrow 17 million or we borrow 15, seven, or we borrow 19 million, I don't know that answer right now, but I would almost guarantee it's not gonna be 19. They're not gonna get all that done in three months. Um, no. So I figured it was, it was a safe number to go with. It might be a little higher than what we're gonna do, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a safe number. So that's what I've got to give you for right now. We may have a better number. You know, we have a meeting tomorrow. Uh, so we might be able to flush that out a little bit more and try, the, the idea is to, if we do those change orders for the contingency in that, um, the first part of phase two, um, would that even be, bid and started now or be spent in this next year? I think it's more like 2024, but if there were savings to be, you know, doing some of those stuff while they're doing the, the, this first phase, then we wanted to make sure we had some funds for that. But um, I, yeah, I think it's just so, I think it's probably gonna be 2024, but we'll try to get an answer tomorrow. Could you just tell me where you, how you came up with the 95,000? Um, so, if you were to take um, 17 million at 2.25%, um, it comes up to 382,500. And I rounded it to 380,000 and I applied 25% to the town and 75% to the wastewater treatment plant. Uh -huh. Questions All right, so it's been moved and seconded for interest on maturing debt at $196,545. Any further questions or discussion? No. Nope. All those in favor? 
skip down to um, this budget overview thing I passed out. Uh, the draft budget overview. Yeah. So um, this is the start of a write-up that we will put into the packet that people get with the warrant. Um, so, and it's based on where we are right now with the budget. I will sit down with Brenda and make sure the numbers are actually right. Um, and um, reflects the final budget before it gets included and printed. Um, in the description, kind of said that most thing are level service. There's a bunch of stuff that goes up. Why does it go up? And then there's some a few major budget increases that I called out individually. Um, there are some of them. Six, seven, the first eight there are changes, in my opinion, to level of service. Um, yeah. um, Splitting out the treasurer, collector, and town clerk position. Um, adding the admin assistant for the administering the meetings. Um, adding planning and grant writing to the contracted services. Increasing maintenance of town buildings. The new board of health position increase to full time and the associated increase to board of health expenses. The rental of the senior center, Tilton library, part-time young adult position and the Tritown beach number of lifeboats. Um, we voted for all of this. If I, I would appreciate feedback on what I've written if you have differences of opinion of what this happened. Right, yeah. That same that thought actually crossed my mind when I was doing it. But there has been an increase in the workload, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well that and and we're getting um many more public records requests than what we used to have and they're much more involved than they used to be and that was being split between the select board office and the um the town clerk and um the intent is for the town clerk to do all of those public record requests that was my I thought maybe change of service at the top. Yeah, because yeah. the level is two different like levels. <laughs> I, I, I that was going to be my suggestion. So what do you want it to say? Increase of service. Um, service increase. Increases. Ser service increases. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Any 
dots on any of the other line items there. Question. Good, it says the total school budget, so that's from uh, Arthur and Deerfield just combined. And Franklin Tech. And then most of the, there was a big Franklin Tech. Increase. There was a huge Franklin Tech increase, yeah. So the, the uh, The frontier increase was shy of 1%, but the number of students went down quite a bit. Um, the Deerfield Elementary School increase was 3.09%, I think, just over 3%. Um, and then the Franklin Tech increase was 67% um, or something like that. It might be worth pointing out that, that the Franklin Tech increase. That's what I'm wondering. From the school budgets here. It feels like that's like out of our control. Students are choosing to do this. Right. So maybe clarify that that's really not. Yeah, that's, that's rather, it is a rather unusual increase. And so clearly it's uh, having a significant. It's over 50% total increase in the school budget. Well, figure one source of funding, you should take the uh, property taxes out and put it on the site, like some of these others. When I looked at it, I couldn't even see what it was for. Oh, yeah, okay. Not for oh, yeah. Especially it's black and white, it's easy. Yeah. Just put a thing, your money. <laughs> Any other conversation about this. Um, but I actually don't think that that additional decision is now has much of an impact because people overpaid for that. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Okay. I will reach out to him and ask. The sewer fourth operator covered by sewer charges. I didn't know what to think. That's pretty rough. Is that so? That's something that's mandated externally. Or something? Well, yeah. It, DEP kind of recommends a certain number of, you know, depending on your kind of gallons of water through your system or um you're supposed to have so many operators you know chief operator and so many operators and we've been getting by a little bit but oh. we're really tough shape and really need to add i mean we'll be lucky to add another Assuming we can find one die, consuming, right? yes exactly so that might okay. just wind up zero all year but i hope not It's a good list. Mm -hmm. It helps people visualize what's here. It's really good. Thank you. Yeah. The senior center? Yep. It's covered in space. A capital feature. Oh, 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 yes, you're right. A capital feature. Yes, thank you. We'll just say the it's Roman Catholic Church. We'll give the name of the church. Okay. Holy, so, Holy which family. is Holy Family? Yeah. Holy, Holy Family. Holy Family. Well, it sounds we're just like we're just writing a check to the Pope. <laughs> okay. Any other staff? On the last page, 
So this is just the omnibus budget shown right now. Um, do you guys, should we include the warrant articles in this pie, do you think? Yes. Okay. It's expended. I just don't have a dollar value there yet. I would be much happier if the contract negotiations were done and the prices were <laughs> the dollar value were in there instead of out here because it, it gives a I agree incorrect um, whatever. The good news is you can do that next time. Yeah. All right. Actually, I'm going to reverse myself. I think maybe not including the warrant articles in the budget graphic, at least, simply because we don't know how many of them are going to pass. And so that would give kind of an oddly distorted view of how the expenses divide up, since sure. you would be basically showing in graphic form something that might not happen. Huh? I can, yeah, I can do with them without. That would not be a bad idea, really. What did you say? I check your math. That was before we got tonight's thingy with the change number, so it does need to be dated with the right numbers. Take one look around. So this is this is going out town meeting. So at town meeting, I am assuming we are going to have to vote for town meeting. The finance committee has to make a recommendation on the amounts that anything is that's still outstanding other than that hundred thousand dollars. Is there any case where it's that cover everything of the <coughs> Yeah, we still have to vote on several. I'm not sure this is the question you asked, but there are several line items here that we have not voted yet that need to be voted before town meeting. That, so I assume next week, if the negotiations aren't complete, we will vote something to write in the box. So we're going to have to. Well, yeah. The hundred thousand dollars is supposed to cover any increases, so we could vote. The requested the requested figures that are here now. So, for example, I'm looking at the police, three hundred ninety-two six fifty-seven, or the select board staff salaries. That's two hundred and thirty-eight thousand eight hundred and twenty. Dollars. So, and general highway payroll five hundred forty-eight six nineteen. So, is there any reason that we can't vote those numbers? Um, does, does that gain us anything? Well, I'm just not sure what yeah, you're, you're going to gain from it. What's that? They've got to be on the warrant, right? So, yeah, that's what it gains us. But it gains us figures which we know are going to be wrong. Well, no. Well, that may be. Right. But you got to put something in there. Well, the difference between having it show, I mean, we're really how we demonstrated for the town, right? The finance committee didn't vote this, so the finance committee voted this and then made the determination. So I think yeah. I. I'm I'm just trying to figure out what what it gains us to do it this week versus oh, next next this, week if we might week. know some answers. Next week is fine, but I think there comes yes. a time when yes. we have a little Fisher cut date, and I think next. I week agree. Right. Exactly. Yes. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And so I listed the ones here that we hadn't voted yet, 
and added one that we already voted because it's my own nitpicky thing. Um, so police pay, you just said police payroll, highway department, select board staff, interest on maturing debt, we just voted, so we crossed that one off. <coughs> Snow and ice overages, can we vote that now? We can, we can vote that now if you want. Um, I, <laughs> they're putting, putting through $9,000 worth of expenditures on this next warrant. And I said, is that it? And nobody knows. So uh, that will put us at $56,000. I say we vote $56,000. If they spend more than that, they're gonna have to find another place to put it against. Well. That um, that's just, there's that no actually does not need to be paid for this year. No, you still have to raise it in your tax rate, so it doesn't matter whether you put yeah. it on. You might as well. You have free cash. That's the smart thing to do. Well, if we don't, the point is it's going to, it's going to get paid for because that's one of those items, maybe the only one I know of. It's the only one you can overspend, but yes. you are... Mm, to be responsible, if you have free cash to spend against it, you should be spending your free cash against it before the end of the fiscal year. That's just the smart thing to do. It's fine, yes. Do you think you'll know any more next week than you know right now? Well, I was gonna have Diane check on the vendors and make sure that she's received all of the invoices. I was gonna have her do that tomorrow. And if we needed to re-vote it next week, we could, but at this point, mm -hmm. 56,000 mm -hmm. covers it. Um, she had just received a bill for one of the vendors that um, was from February for all of the work that he did in February. So that was part of the problem. Do we have a motion? Anybody? All right, we'll wait till next week. So we have been right. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Contract settlements will hold off for a week. Um, I keep asking, but Board of Health, when you guys go back and talk about budget tomorrow, can you look at Board of Health again? Yeah, I think it's on our agenda to do. I don't, I don't think you have any answers from what I talked about oh, with Carolyn today. Kind of but spoke maybe in my ear that did, we're gonna be looking at it tomorrow. Great, so. okay, good. Yep. Okay, terrific. It feels like, it, I'm just gonna get this off my chest. <laughs> it feels it like a huge increase. And it when is. you have a very large, so just going to full-time for this person is a big increase. But on yep. top of that, you have a very hefty amount in there for part-time work for- Another person. Dick. Dick. Yeah. Um, Another and agent. so it seems like, and that is just a tied over between, you know, to get us past the point that Alex can't do the, uh, the inspection. So it seems like Alex should come down at least as much as Dix goes up. To, uh, uh, not quite. I mean, it's not, now, there'll still be some part yeah. of that, but yeah. there, there's something. In there. There, there was some discussion today that in order to get a nurse, they might end up needing to spend more per hour than what we've budgeted. So of course. that was the discussion today. I thought they were going to go into an agreement with uh, Greenfield and Montague or something for the nurse. That was for contact tracing, which we have done through the grant. And then we still need so are town you nurse. planning on hiring a nurse for here only without going with other towns? Uh, I'm share with Sunderland. That's my understanding. I think probably these questions are best put to a, a different select board, board of health member, but we'll have more information well, next we'll week. We'll be off and tell her to respond next week. Yep. We'll Great. Because we'll okay. I, I don't have the answers. Okay. I, yep. I'm, I'm of the opinion, or maybe it's not an opinion, but as far as I'm concerned, we're going to vote all of these items that are unvoted next week. Yep. Yeah, and there's it's fine, but when we go to town meeting, yep, remember you can't increase the budget, okay? Well, I'm not sure uh, I understand. Uh, this budget cannot be increased. Well, it's your it. recommendation or not recommendation, but it's whatever we put on that budget is what right is what goes before the town. Well, I will argue that you can, that's fine, uh, someplace along the way. Otherwise, why don't we just get rid of the finance committee? I don't. 
think there's any reason to get rid of the finance committee. Well, you do good work. We're, if we're doing the job that we're supposed to be doing, and you're telling us you're recommending the budget and a lot of the departments, and then we have some under the purview of the select board that you recommend or don't recommend, and it's up to the town to decide whether we agree not, with we, those or not. We have always, I have never gone to a town meeting in 10 years that I've been on this committee where we haven't had a recommendation. We may not necessarily agree with the requested amount. Correct. We, we have had a recommendation. Yeah. And we didn't have to wait you know, until yeah. after town meeting. The, the selectmen come in on the last minute of that town meeting with a different figure than I, I don't see that happening. I think they'll have a they'll have a figure before town meeting. How about whether you agree with it or not well, might be well, how different about next situation? week and whether we agree with it or not. Fine. Mm -hmm. You know, a requested number seems not unreasonable. Right. I mean today's the fifth, next week is the twelfth, and three weeks later, twenty days. Yep. Right? Less than that. Less, Less than 20. Yeah. I think next warrant. Friday. Yeah. Is Preaching the, the choir, the skip. Course, the warrant has to be posted. Mm -hmm. week Friday. So I, I think that's that's the intent, right? Is right. next week any line item is not voted, we will be voting and recommending an amount. Huh? Exactly. And that's the yep. kind of the process that we have planned out. Right. Um, so there are a number that are not voted. Yep. That we will be voting something. Another one will be week. the wastewater treatment plant. We'll have to look at that next week also. Or I showed you what I had last week, but some of that has already changed. So for the South Deerfield plant? For the whole wastewater treatment plant, for the two plants together for the enterprise fund. Um, let's look at the, are there any other individual line items anybody wants to talk about tonight? No. Okay. Good. Um, I wrote down revisit capital list and I, I'm not suggesting that we go through the whole thing, but it's on the back of this agenda if you're looking for it. So this is what we talked through last week. Um, I've been it's almost like I need to have two meetings about everything because I go away and I think about it for a while and then I have another thought. So there's two things that I'd like to recommend that the select board look at. And actually, maybe I'll ask the finance committee if you all agree with me. One is the, uh, the mini excavator. Um, we put in a request to do somebody, it, it's shifted from a capital request to a five-year lease to own and the lease to own is 23,000 a year for five years so that's an extra fifteen thousand dollars right um and i'd like to request that the select board think about using arpa funds to just buy it outright and that way all the money that was previously voted to work on sidewalks can be used for sidewalks instead of devoting it to this mini excavator and the fifteen thousand it's less money we have to spend. It's less money that we get at, out of pocket. Um, and there's, it won't be much. Uh, so but won't be there much. will be well. There's an, there's an item that's going to be traded in. Is that? Oh yeah. For oh, uh, that was the, the chipper. That was the, the chipper. Yeah, right the there. chipper is right. And that was another request I heard. The fifty nine thousand. Yeah. So I would like to see that if we can, if we have any idea what it is, that money applied to reduce the cost of the purchase of those items. If we can't, we can't. I would assume that fifty nine thousand includes the trade in value. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't oh, I'm not privy paper? to the paperwork. Yeah. yeah, I'd have to look too. Where was that? I saw that. Was it on? Was on. Oh, there it is. Too. Yep. Got it. Should have numbered the lines so we can find it. Mm -hmm. um, Julie? Yeah. Question on the old grammar school? Yep. It's a quest 475 CPA funds 465. That's because two lines up, see where it says senior center repairs prevent damage. That is included in the request. So that 475 includes 10 for the 
So it's like a duplicate request there. Oh, yep. I wonder if there's a way to represent that. It's confusing for me anyway. Okay. Then we should probably decrease the request line to 465 also. So that's gonna be presented tomorrow night at the CPC. So out of that discussion, I assume we'll come up with a final number. Yeah. So the CPC hasn't voted yet. I don't think they right. have voted, they have on, not the, voted this on that project. That explains why I haven't gotten their list. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the other thing that I'd like to request associated with this is that you guys look hard at what you can fund with ARPA funds mm -hmm. and sort of, in my opinion, fund as much of this as possible using ARPA funds and then think about the capital stabilization fund. If we have any funding left um, over, think about increasing that capital stabilization fund instead of taking money out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did I say that clearly enough? I yeah, like I get it. Convoluted. I get it. <laughs> yep. Yes. Um, you're suggesting the Right. Right. So I'm not suggesting ARPA funds can't be put into the capital Correct. stabilization fund. Correct. I'm not suggesting that. Understood. I'm suggesting the money that we will be you normally know, pulling from. We have available that we <coughs> right. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Loud and clear. Um, anybody else have any additional thoughts on the capital list that we went through? So the walk in cooler um, oh, right. value is changing. Um, I want to say it was 36727. Casey, do you have that in front of you by chance? The new um, capital request from uh, Frontier for the walk in cooler? Oh, that's the elementary That was because of the wrong. No, that was, I think Frontier's right. It's in the warrant, Brenda. I changed the numbers. That's what I was doing. Great. So I was kind of reticent oh, to give it to you because I was going through comments and revising that article. So I said this in the beginning, I don't, I don't think everybody was here yet, but um, I got a call from Darius today that said that um, when they calculated that capital request, they had used the wrong formula. They used the central office formula instead of the, I think the student um, ratio formula. So it worked out that other towns paid less and we paid a little more, about 5,000 bucks. So. That's a typical well, it's an honest mistake. So just wasn't in our favor this time. Great. Anything else on this capital list that we should talk about? I think that suggestion about <laughs> Certainly, it's a good use of funds for um, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. okay. And you said you were talking about what Tom Scanlon said about ARPA funds when you talked to him, right? That yes. Can you say that so the rest of the committee hears that as well? So um, the use of ARPA funds uh, has gotten easier, particularly for us smaller communities that don't have as much coming to us. So. Um, we can claim that the ARPA funds are revenue replacement. And we're gonna get 1.49 million, so almost 1.5 million. So it's a matter of checking the box to, to use that as a revenue replacement. Now, when you do that, the ARPA funds can be spent for any general government purpose. And the select board has the right to choose what those projects are going to be. So, um, so that's that's so when Casey fills out the paperwork or when she when she 
does her reporting to ARPA, she's just gonna check a box that says this is revenue replacement. And then she's gonna say, these are the projects that we currently are gonna spend on. And then next year, she has to report again at the end of April and she'll report again, this is what we've already spent. This is what we are gonna, gonna tackle next. Mm -hmm. And so until at which time we've spent all of the money. And we, we don't have the second half yet, but you, I think that we got a little late last year. It's supposed to be right. a year from the last time they sent it, but I, it may come sooner. So we received two tranches of money last year. One was direct to us of 200 and some thousand, mm -hmm. right? I think, yep. and then the remaining 500 and some thousand came from, um, or 400 and some thousand came from our defunct uh, county, from Franklin County. Right. So that will happen again this year. We'll get the direct tranche of money uh, around June 10th yeah. from, from um, the feds. And then we'll get the amount coming through Franklin County again. Last year, we got that in August. I yeah. want to say July or August. Yeah. So we'll probably see that again in either July or August. Yeah. Um, any other comments on CAP? All right. Um, warrant item review. Um, Casey, you gave us a warrant, but this is not ready for review yet, right? It, the language is not final. The board has not, I walked through it with Dan and Lisa and Jen Wallace on Friday and made some changes to where articles were placed. Lisa's made some changes to the language, but we are definitely gonna go through it at least one, maybe two more times. The board will see it tomorrow. So understand I'm being gracious, even my board hasn't looked at it yet, but functionally it's in a reasonable place to add the tables if we can, we don't have to. Um, for purposes of dealing with COVID, we had added as many as much of that information, including tables, the budget, that sort of thing. So some of that stuff will be ready. Some of it may not. So we're going to do the best we can to Skip's point. But some things have moved around um, based on those conversations, Lisa and Dan thinking about how town meeting progresses. There is at least one article that may need to be changed, and that's the Frontier MOU. We do have confirmation it has to be voted. The approval has to be made by town meeting to enter into that type of agreement. The language may change a little over the next couple of days. So if you wanted to look at it, yes, you could certainly take on some of that information. Um, the first two consent articles are fairly boilerplate articles and we place them together at Dan's insistence so that we could get through them. The motion may actually say take each one individually so that we don't lose the entire consent article if there's a an issue on the floor. Much of that is boilerplate. There is no zoning. So certainly take a look at it. You can chew on it and you guys could start to make some decisions next week, but barring some language changes, I think it's in a it's in a fairly tight place. I just reserve the right to make changes if necessary. <laughs> because legal counsel may say that. At, at the uh, FY23 capital projects, is that where you'd put in the capital table? Is that the idea? Yes. So, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. So let me, let me, I just close, hold on a second. I was looking for something that you guys were talking about a minute ago. Let me just pull up the warrant again so I can go through it. I can actually go through it with you if you want. Um, so the first two articles we had actually changed some of those. They used to be individual articles. We turned them into consent articles for purposes of moving through the warrant. Um, acknowledgement of gifts, Brenda and I have talked about that. She's either gonna give me the numbers and I'll do the table or she's gonna do the table and give it to me. Library interests, we'll put that in. Um, the acceptance of grants, contracting authority, that's fairly routine. Um, the second consent article is special appropriations, and I filled in the numbers, and I think Brenda's okay with them. She checked them last week. I did. I didn't recheck them today, uh, but... Uh, we can make those... Yeah, you, Brenda and I'll keep looking at this until we post. Yeah. We do have to post on Thursday. 
in order to be able to post in the in the places that we need to post like the library so jen wallace and i are coordinating them um, revolving funds are the same spending limits again as i explained at least i hope i explained the article below revolving funds is the creation of a revolving fund under a different statute and section particularly related to foster care transportation essentially the explanation is this was a request from frontier we have to have a repository for foster care transportation funds if we were to be in a situation where we had to provide that type of transportation right now we don't but without creating that fund we have no place to put it so there's two pieces to this there's the creation of the revolving fund and then there's the authorization to enter into a memorandum of understanding related to the foster care transportation. And that comes out of a particular act, the Every Student Succeeds Act. And it creates a mechanism to track transportation costs and reconcile between school systems. But essentially, we are required to make accommodation around foster care transportation. We gave it a spending limit of 200,000. And the reason we gave it that spending limit is because transportation can get exponentially expensive very quickly, depending on where you're going. It's not unusual to have a $200,000 transportation bill if you're busing a child across the state, which has happened in the past. So what we're trying to do is be mindful. We could. We don't have this situation yet, so we could make an adjustment next year, but the, the select board was uncomfortable with having it too low. And this is a revolving fund, so right. money correct in and then goes out. So this yeah. is and that's yeah, that's the thing. Right now we don't have a place to put money that comes in or to take money out if we had a situation. So the school's asking us to be prepared, and they asked all four towns to do this. That is the language that may evolve based on some new information that council has. She and I haven't discussed it yet, but it came in this afternoon that we did have to have the article. And so the classification compensation plan, there's a hearing on Monday, personnel board, to finalize that because we had a couple of changes, the town clerk treasure collector split and an additional um, breakout that, that the library has for a position to support the split that happened with the children's librarian. That title had not officially been inserted. And you notice I haven't numbered anything in case I have to move things around. <laughs> so I will say one thing, SCEMS Enterprise Fund, Brenda and I talked about that. If we are able to put the information in the, the table, we'll do that just to make it easy for people. Um, fiscal year 2022 capital projects, there was some information I didn't have at the close of the warrant. So our recommendation, I think after I talk to the board tomorrow is going to be to pass over this. I think we put it in there just in case. Now we know we don't need it. I think you skipped a page. I did. Oh, sorry. Wait, I did. You skipped yeah, page. Oh, it's no nice. Yeah. Sorry. So nice. Yeah. No nice. So I hadn't put a number in there because Strangely enough, I anticipated what happened today. <laughs> um, the budget, again, if we have it ready, we can put it in. If we don't, we can provide it in the handout. So collective bargaining agreements is to identify if we have things settled, to identify the amounts of money that we would hope to be able to put in the budget to your point, Skip. And then wastewater enterprise fund. Once that's finalized, there are some details that Brenda and I are working on. And again, we tried to group the phase two upgrades near the wastewater just for familiarity's sake. And council approved the article and the ballot question is also ready to go on the ballot for the second. 
This is for the 3 million that will be um, in addition to the 19 million that we had approved in 2019. I just wanted to make that clear. Right. No that right. All right, where am I? Scams. Told you about that table. So 2022 capital, I told you about that. Fiscal year 23 capital, we have a hearing on Thursday to go over that. The select board has their hearing as required by the bylaw. So I'm hoping we'll have that settled and be able to put the table in. If not, we'll put it in the handout. The reallocation of congregational church repair funds. So Julie, do you wanna to talk to this or do you want me to share? Go ahead. So last Friday, and I didn't get there, Julie was there for, or I got there late, Julie was there for the beginning. We had a structural engineer walk through the church, particularly to look at the leaning of the steeple. And we expect to see some sort of, um, some sort of identification of what we could expect of work that needed to be done and an estimate of costs relatively soon. He's gonna send us something, Julie. Yes. But we not only are going to be responsible for some of the work that happens in the addition part of that building for senior use, but we may, we may want to consider using some of those funds to also fix the steeple. It's, it's not in horrible shape, but there's some things up in that, up in the eaves that are that if we don't fix now could be worse later, right, Julie? Yeah, so I, I did walk through that portion of it. And um, the steeple sits on the front wall of the church and then the back of the steeple sits on a truss. And when you go up into the attic and look at it, the truss has crushed a little bit. So it's squished, it's all timber. So it's squished down. I'd say the truss is a foot deep and it looks like it's squashed down maybe an inch. Um, and so that's causing the steeple to tilt back because the support has squashed. This is not the technical term for that. <laughs> no, it's not the technical term, but it's the term. But you, you see what I'm saying. And yep. then the next truss back actually, the end of the truss where the roof meets the wall of the church, that has come, it has, a piece of it has split. So it is not supported as well as it should be. And that was actually, the, the thing about the steeple tilting, he was kind of like, oh, they all do this, you can fix it, you know, and he wasn't all worried about that. That little piece broken off that next truss back, he looked at that and said, you need to fix that sooner rather than later. Right. But he didn't, like, anyway. So that, he that, said the same thing later, just so you know. <laughs> Um, the other thing he pointed out is that there's a balcony and the balcony um, as, as like a retrofit later, somebody went in and put these cables or poles or something up and then supported them from the trusses in the, the, the whole length. And so there's one on each truss. That wasn't the original design. And his opinion was that there was not, um, that was not a structurally sound decision. So that is additional load on the trusses that shouldn't be on the trusses. So he felt that that should be changed. Um, and then they had to leave because they had a meeting. So I didn't see what he said about the basement. He was headed down to the basement. Now. The basement, he said the basement wasn't in horrible shape. There wasn't, and, and he went around and he looked to see if there was any damage to the beams. Uh -huh. And without climbing around each beam, he couldn't see anything that really stuck out to him. He was more concerned about the roof, the trusses and the steeple. So after that conversation, um, I, do, I do think based on what we know about ARPA, we could pay for the HVAC for the police department out of ARPA funds. Um, if we do, if the board votes to do a revenue replacement or revenue declare it a revenue loss, um, the entire amount that we receive, um that does leave us some money to do some of these repairs because if they are critical to just keeping the building intact it's a it's a town asset i think we need to be mindful of that that's just my two cents and so i that's what i mean about changing i will present that that consideration to the select board tomorrow night and that article language may change or that could be something if they choose to consider those those 
fixes that need to happen and maintain that allocation, then we would want to pass over the article. Does that make sense? So the next one's the Frontier Regional School Capital Request, and I'm going to have Brenda check my numbers, but I transcribed the revised article, Brenda, which does reflect an increase of around five grand for Deerfield. And then we have community preservation. Brenda usually does that article motion. I don't know where we'll be because I don't know where they are in their voting process, but I'm sure once everything's done, Tim will notify her. Yeah, apparently they have a few more things to vote tomorrow night, Casey. Okay, um, and we'll insert the table. And it was explicitly requested, Brenda, that we put the balances. I know we've done it in the past, but Right. Um, both Dan and Lisa know that there will be questions. So if we can put the table with the motions, like put the table in with information, like we've done the past couple of years and include the balances, then there's going to be less question because it'd be right there in the warrant. Right. Um, the next article is the extension of the Indian house. And this is a CI, this is a cap, a uh, community preservation grant. I don't know if I explained it before, but Mass Historical has been really slow in responding to the needs that they have to, or the evaluations they have to provide based on these grants. So in order to prevent problems for PVMA and because of that slow response, the select board put this article in to extend the completion of the project um, into 2023 since we don't have a timeline from MHC as to when they'll be out to finalize their evaluation of the, the work. CPC grants have a three-year timeline. So proceeds from the sale of real property, this would help us satisfy the borrowing we did for the property assuming that we can finalize the purchase and sale, which is in place. We wouldn't be able to do that until Brenda already, Brenda and I have already talked about this. We wouldn't do it right away, but if town meeting approves that allocation, once we're able to pay that loan off, we could do so, assuming the, the sale goes through. Right, we renewed that loan for six months, uh, but it's not, uh, you're not able to pay it, pay it off early. So right. we would have to wait till October to pay it off, no matter what. And then we have the special act to separate town clerk from collector treasurer, or treasurer collector, which is in sections and describes a basic understanding of how the offices would be split. It also allows for if the general court needs to make a clerical or editorial change, um, they town meeting approves of that and gives the select board the ability to make those changes, uh, approve those changes, which we've done in the past. And it's a necessity because sometimes these things change, it, change in ways we don't expect. Um, and it would take effect upon its passage by the general court. We've made it clear to our legislative aid that we need to facilitate this. Speed limits is fairly routine. That language has also been approved by town council. It would allow the select board to establish a speed limit of 25 miles per hour in all areas of the town, town that are defined a certain way. Sewer bylaw. So, we had this in there, discussed this with council. My recommendation to the board has been that we are not prepared, but this is an opportunity to forewarn residents that you, they could see changes in the sewer bylaw to clean up issues that might be there and to be prepared um, for, for to handle the sewer system moving forward because our, our bylaws are pretty messy. 
but we don't have the time to get that done right now because there's four different articles we would need to vote. This came up in 2017 and it didn't come to complete fruition. So we had to do a little research on that. And then we have a citizen's petition and that relates to changing the state flag and seal. Oh, and, and, the, and the election. <laughs> we almost forgot the election language, so we put the election language in. Jen caught that. So go ahead, John. Uh, the article for fiscal year 2022 capital projects. Yep. That's something we as a committee have looked at or should look at. I think that's the one we did last year. I think that's duplicate. We have so, one article for 2022 and one for 2023. Right. As I said, at the time that we finalized the warrant, there were some questions related to ARPA funds that we did not have settled. So we are going to recommend that town meeting pass this over because it is not necessary. But on the 25th of March, we did not have that answer. I missed that too. Huh? I missed that too when she said it before. I don't understand what she said. But we didn't. But we don't. Right. But okay. We had to get it in by March 25th. Right. So. Disregard. Disregard. Averted. So, <laughs> so here's a recommendation that we all take this home, read it over the next week. We come back next week. Casey gives us a new one with charge changes clearly marked. Yes. Um, so that we can see what's changed and we will plan to vote everything on Ho here. Next hopefully week. we'll have some tables in there too that'll help. Yeah, that'd be great. Go ahead, Do you Casey. want track changes, Julie? Yes. Is that a problem? I just, it's just hard to understand. I hate track changes, but I work with it all the time. So yeah, if you want me to give you track changes, I can. What do you guys want? Do you want something marking what has changed from what we're reading here? I think if we review it and they can explain it to us, that's fine. We need to have something that's going to tell us what the changes are. If there's without making it enough. into a bigger deal than it is. Right. Okay. Yeah, I would agree with that. So what I'm hearing is we want a clean copy next week, and we want I'll to tell it. us what's different. Okay. Yeah. I think that would be easier. Okay. That works. Oh, it's your, oh no. Okay. If you have any comments on any of this that you want to pass along, you can bring it. Yeah. You could submit any questions, I guess. To, you know, <laughs> if you have any questions about the warrant items, you could give them to someone else. Yeah. All right. So next week we will look at every line item we haven't voted yet and vote it. So there will be a completely voted budget. We will look at the warrant, vote everything in here that has anything to do with finance. We have all of the articles. We will look at all of the articles, but we have the option of saying that we have reviewed it and that we have no agreement. Right. Well, right. That's true. That's a, yeah. that's a vote. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But we will look at everything. Yes. Um, I wrote down on our agenda for tonight, discuss debt limit and debt load associated with major future projects. I am not prepared to discuss that. Um, so I'd like to just not talk about that tonight. Unless anybody has anything when on that. Are we going to talk about that? Yeah, I don't know. Not before next week. It's fine. <coughs> we'll talk before town meeting. We have two meetings. We have two meetings left. We can try for it on the 19th. And uh, is there 
I'm assuming that there are, will be articles on the uh, town meeting that affect the debt limit. The only one I think is this extra three million. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that relates to but the debt limit. We're talking about, but it's not here yet. Mm -hmm. Like the library, the extra piece of old wastewater treatment plant. The only thing that I was concerned about is when it comes to the wastewater treatment plant and those other articles that is that by not having them, I think we, there is some obligation on the part of the town or on the part of the town officials to bring to the annual town meeting as many or as much of any articles that we can rather than wait until the special time if, if we can avoid it. That's all. So that there is a discussion. We're going to get 50 people or 75 people at a special town meeting. You know, these days, I'm not sure we get too much more than that, maybe 150 people at an annual town meeting. But I think these articles really deserve to be before the annual town meeting. I agree, but this is already posted, right? So we can't add it. It's not posted. It's whatever you call it, closed. Um, so well, we can't except add now, more. the selectmen can add. What would you want to add? I'm just saying, if there's a, well, someplace along the way, it would seem that it would make sense to have some sort of discussion on the annual town meeting about problems with the debt limit. If we expect to have problems with the debt limit. And I haven't seen any way of getting around those problems. <laughs> so I think maybe one way to deal with, let me start over. I don't know that we have the knowledge we need right now to plan for what else needs to or want they want to borrow. But maybe one thing we can do is at that public hearing, whenever that is, the 20th, if that's when mm -hmm. it ends up being, we can present the concept that, and I would be happy to present something along these lines, and maybe I'll draft something to show everybody next week, that there is a debt limit. The debt limit next year is around 40 million, depending on what our valuation is. Yeah. We've already borrowed this much, 19 million, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. There's all these other projects. If you add them all up, they're more than 40 million. Therefore that, you know, that needs to be carefully considered. Yeah. And I would be happy to present something along those lines without an actual final values right. in there because we don't have we don't final really values. Right. right. So that's a great that's idea, Julie. Really. And that's fine. That I'd right? like to see some of that discussion at the annual town meeting. That's actually a question for Dan Graves, Skip. It's his meeting. I wonder if we can. So, so at the CCI the other night, mm -hmm. you guys are gonna shoot me. We were talking at CCI and somebody was saying, oh, well, shouldn't we have all of this other stuff? And the response was, it's Dan Graves meeting. You have to ask Dan. Yeah. My response is, we don't wanna drag town meeting out any longer than it is. <laughs> And so, we have a yeah, pre meeting where we start an hour early, and if people want to, they can come and you can just have presentations about some of this background information stuff, just, just as like an opening. I know yeah. logistically, I don't know how that all works. Logistically, that like, would be hard to do, Julie. My no, suggestion is I think we have the opportunity now that we know what's in front of us and the possibility of the library coming forward this year. This is the opportunity to start having information sessions and and preparing people for really what it means. Okay. You know, I do think having something that you just described at, yeah. in as part of the information relay prior to town meeting is a great idea. It gives people a snippet of it, but this is hard to grasp. You get this like is not easy to understand. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. When you have those little individual meetings, you get like 20 people. It's all of us show up. Yeah. That's a bunch. So I've been trying to plan information at people at the end of the first plan. I think that's where you get people walking out. Because 
platform. Right. Mm. Um, I do think, I think it's a marketing question. Right? right. That question of how do we get people to consume the information? And sometimes they're consuming it, they're just going to stand around and have um, And I think this is what maybe. Is it a pamphlet we leave yeah, off yeah, for yeah, town yeah, meeting? Maybe like you know, having a variety of options, right? Some things virtual, some in close session, in person, some, I don't know, pamphlet for city mm. to read. And then at town meeting, you know, letting people know what those options are so that they can have the information. Mm -hmm. I had the pamphlet at town meeting. I feel like people would pick up and read the stuff that's there. Yeah, they, they do. They do. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The twenty-minute discussion of the cost of a stapler. Yeah. You just wind up. Oh, oh, yeah. stuff. Although I, I do think that corralling all of the presentations and dog and pony shows into a session before the town meeting would be a wonderful idea. <laughs> I think logistically it's gonna be difficult because that isn't necessarily our space and people have an expectation of going to town meeting, doing the business on the warrant and leaving yeah. to be prepared to then go to the election the next Monday. See, I, I actually like that too, which is why I wanna corral them all to a session in advance. <laughs> I mean like a previous day. Yeah, or something like that, just right. so that you know everybody with their cool PowerPoints can just. Long as it is, yeah. Sort of yeah, yeah. As soon as the school's budgeted, voted, they. If if you want to keep people gone. in town meeting, you take two or three items, school for one, uh, and put them at the end of the week. I think we've done that before, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. I, I have no problem, I, and in fact, I think the idea of putting some sort of a pamphlet or a one-page mm -hmm. whatever that kind of explains what we're looking at in the, in the near term for projects with some rough idea. I mean, we clearly don't have any idea what it's gonna to cost to construct some of these buildings that we're talking about. <laughs> but we could come, yeah, what are five to seven million dollars? Right. Seven to 10 million. You just lay out for the town that these are the items that we're looking at. And, and there's nothing new. I mean, we've talked about senior center, we've talked about senior housing. Everybody, I think, realizes somewhere along the way that we need to do something about the, <coughs> the, the town hall. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and whatever else there is, the library, and that each one of these has some sort of a price tag. And that when you add them all up, they far exceed our borrowing capacity. And I think we have to be honest and say, we don't know how we're going to handle that. I have no idea. Right. Well, anybody else does. No. And that's really all I'd like to get out there. I didn't yeah, really want to spend an hour yeah. right. town meeting doing that. Yeah. So maybe we do. Yeah. The other piece of it that I don't have my mind around yet is even if we get close to that debt limit, that debt limit is not the only problem that comes with paying off the debt. Right. And if we start to put that, I mean, if you look at our budget right now, what do we have? $100,000 left over to do all of our capital. And right. if we had $300,000 worth of debt to pay off this year, we would be well, a little bit hurt. That would be debt excluded. Still got to raise their taxes. taxes. Raise their taxes. taxes. That's, that's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. That these things all have costs. Yeah. Somebody's going to pay for it. I, you know, we we know that the sewer users are going to pay in their user fees are going to pay seventy five percent. Plus. Oh, that's fine. What? But uh, they're plus going to be paying the the twenty five percent in tax. Those, what the the sewer bill is going to be for those who are on the sewer system. You know, and I it think is. they need to understand that. Yep. Or at least have knowledge of it. No surprises. That's what I, I don't think town meetings are the time that we want to surprise people and say, well, right. here's the bill. Yep. You don't have a choice. We've yeah. already spent the money. Well, uh, I know I'm being a little facetious there, but. Only a little. <laughs> Not much, just a little bit. Right. 
it's depressing how many of our spending items are. We have to spend this money, so we may as well vote for it. <laughs> Are there any uh, any warrant items that approve more debt? Because that would be maybe the time to present the issue. Just see what three mean. million dollars. Yeah. Hmm? Three million dollars is in there, like on page two. And we could, at that point, somebody could get up and say something. Maybe. Now the uh, just a thought. A pamphlet. One page, whatever, something that kind of describes what the town is looking at. You want to have an executive summary to make sure people are aware of what all the potential costs are. And if we turn around and end up building, rebuilding the old deer for waste our treatment plant and adding it to the South Air Fill, you're talking basically $40 million, give or take. Who's going to argue over half a million for that kind of money? Or but, but if you've got $40 million in debt and your debt limit is $37 million, we got problems up front. And then the question is, how do you build a town hall and a senior center when you got no extra capital to borrow? Um, somebody's got to articulate those issues and make sure people understand, oh, the 75% for the sewer users, that's only for the sewer users. But your bill is going to be a minimum of two thousand dollars per year, in addition to your taxes. They got to know that two thousand dollars a year, in addition to your regular real estate taxes. And after they understand that, it's going to hurt. Yeah, I don't know. Is is sewer based on is it flat rate or is it based on usage? Or? Usage, usage, yeah, water usage. Right. There's, there's a flat rate. There's, there's, a, one there's a plus standard usage. fee, the user fee, and then a based on your usage of water. So one way to look at it is, if they want to make sure they're getting the income, they can say your minimum sewer bill is going to be two thousand dollars per year. And you can put fifty dollars in there for water. Yeah. But the two thousand dollars, I got one right here. Thank you. <laughs> Besides, I don't need either one of them. <laughs> All right. I think we've gone through everything on the list. We will meet next week and do the rest of the budget and all the work. Do you want a motion to adjourn? Sure. Can I second it? Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? I see no.